Good morning everyone. Just wait for a few seconds while people come in and I just want to welcome you to Circus Skills York's uh, Circus at Home for Everyone session number five. Uh, this, is a, this is the end of the first week. I can't believe it has happened so quickly. Anyway, uh, it's really great to have you here and uh, we're looking at juggling uh, uh, today uh, and juggling balls and we're going to make our very own. So uh, always uh, good in these things. We, uh, we're not actually going to do huge amounts of stuff uh, movement wise but it's good to uh, warm up our hands. So here's a little uh, exercise that I've learned from a long time ago. So it's, it's exercises, exercises. I must do my exercises. So do you want to have a go at that? Exercises, exercise. I must do my exercises. There we are. Something to warm up your hands. And let's let's just do this as well. Stretch them out. Shake them out. Okay, good. Right, so what we need for this, in order to make um, our very own juggling ball, we need we need some something like rice or maybe some lentils anything dry uh, dry pulse wise uh, dry beans would work nicely i did have a friend once try it with baked beans uh, and it gets very messy and although you can sort of make a baked bean jugging ball uh, when it splits it gets mess everywhere so just don't even try it. Uh, so go for rice or uh, or lentils. Um, they work nicely. Um, uh, the smaller the item, the the more uh, even consistent a juggling ball you can get. If you use like um, like dry chickpeas, it can be a bit sort of um, uncomfortable in the hand. So um, something smaller normally works better. So um, we also need is some small. Um, um, bags, freezer bags, something like that, uh, and uh, and then some balloons as well, uh, and a pair of scissors. Okay, so if you want to uh, do this now, um, uh, then pause the video and go and grab some stuff. Otherwise, you can just watch me and then try it later after this. So what we're going to do is we're going to get. I'm going to go for. Um, I think I'm going to go for some lentils because my lentils are already um, uh, out. So I find um, if you use a measuring cup or something, you can pour, say, a consistent amount of items of quantity. So I'm going to fill this to be about half full. Now, you'll probably have to experiment yourself to see how big a juggling ball you want. Basically you want it to fit nicely in your hand, not so it's huge and uh, not that it's too small either, so some, something in between. So you quite use uh, what we do, the next step, once we've measured our dried stuff out, let's pour it in and then we tie this around like this. Do that a few times. Okay, now what you do uh, with your balloon We'll get a pair of scissors, and if you need um, someone to help you, then go and get to, uh, someone bigger than you to help you. And we're going to cut off uh, the end, just here. And cutting balloons can be a bit tricky. Got halfway doing it, stopped. Let's uh, change that. Okay, so uh, if you want to keep the ends of these, these, these are quite good for making little, sometimes you get some really nice sounds coming out of them. Sometimes this one isn't doing very good. But you might want to play with those at the end. Anyway, we have um, the remainder of the balloon. What you need to do is get your fingers in and then uh, we're going to stretch it over over our bag here, okay? Uh, 
and there you can see we have our juggling ball. Now you can, if you want to, uh, get a second one. So um, I'm going to get a second one here. I'm going to cut off the end. Again, this is going to be tricky. There we are. And this time I'm going to experiment with just cutting little bits off the balloon. Can you see here? Little bits here. Oop. And this will provide a nice little pattern. So if you do this all around your balloon. You don't want to make the holes too big. We're just aiming for little holes, okay? There we are. And now we can get our beam our, our bean bag ball and let's find the real hole where is it there it is and we can just stretch it over it and can you see oh haven't done that particularly well you might want to experiment with this. We've now made a multicolored uh, uh, juggling ball, which is quite nice. Uh, and this is this has a quite a nice feel. So this this was half a cup worth. Um, if if you're um, if you're a child and your hands are half the size of mine, then maybe a quarter of a cup will be ideal. But the idea is to find the the um, roughly the the size that's going to be comfortable in your hand. Because in the end, we will be hold, having to hold two juggling balls in our, our hand when, when we get to juggling. So you've got to be able to hold them comfortably. If you have, like, for example, here are two much bigger shot bolt juggling balls, I can hold those in my hand just about. It's, it's, it's relatively comfortable. But if these were a bit bigger, it would be a lot harder. Okay, so we need to make uh, three of these. OK, and then we'll be ready uh, for Monday's lesson uh, of, of uh, learning to juggle uh, with with three juggling balls. So uh, uh, an another alternative way of making the juggling balls is rather than using a, um, a bag like that, you can uh, get it into a balloon straight away if you have a funnel. Um, uh, now, my household, we don't have funnels. Uh, maybe uh, you'll have a funnel uh, in your uh, kitchen and uh, then you can put the funnel in there. It comes out here, you can pour the, uh, the lentils, the rice in, whatever, and you can shake it in until it fills up. Um, but I much prefer the method we use because you can get a lot more, a lot more in. Because uh, once the balloon's full it's hard to sort of stretch it and make it bigger so I always much prefer this method um, and it, it's really quite quick and it also means um, if you get bored with juggling you can take all the stuff off um, um, no, that comes off easy you can take the other one off and you can get your red lentils back or whatever you used uh, and cook them because they're in a in a plastic bag and they've been kept fine so uh, what we want you to do as uh, to end the lesson okay um and this is uh to get us ready for monday really uh and the idea is that we're as as we did with the scarf juggling we want to get used to throwing one item and we we'll want to throw it so that it it goes in a nice arc and lands in the other hand which is there the idea in juggling is not to have to move the catching hand anywhere to catch it so we have to throw this to the other hand <coughs> in a fairly <coughs> accurate manner, okay? Uh, ideal height is sort of eye height, sort of head height. If you throw too much, too high, it can, it, you might end up having to go and catch it. If you throw it too low, then that's, it's easy to start with, but when you add, um, when you add some more 
um, bean bags into it, it becomes, oh, there's, there's too much to do. Um, so just throw, try to get a nice consistent throw from one hand to the other, aiming not to have to move the catching hand. Most people find that one hand is better at throwing than the other. And so you might have to practice more with the weaker hand. Uh, but for, over the weekend, you can uh, have a go at doing this exercise. So for two minutes every whenever, have a go at throwing backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. You can do it while watching TV. In fact, it's quite, quite a good skill to actually look at something else. So you're only seeing the ball using what you call peripheral vision. So you're not focused on the beanbag. You're not watching it fly from one one to the other. We are just trying to look forward and back and not worry too much about staring at the beanbag. So we, don't, we certainly don't want to do this. We don't want to be looking like that because when we have three going, we will not know which ball to look at. So backwards and forwards, get it nice and consistent. You may have to work on uh, your right hand more. You might have to work on your left hand more, but it's backwards and forwards because when we learn to juggle, this is the only throw that you're allowed. Backwards and forwards. There's nothing going on down here. It's just backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. You might even want to try doing this when you're practicing by having a chat with a friend or um, uh, you might even want to, if you can do video uh, conferencing with friends, you might want to call them up and all have, have a go at doing this together, backwards and forwards and see who, who drops first. So it's just backwards and forwards, forwards and backwards. Okay, so that's the thing to practice. So to remind you uh, how to make the, the balloons, quick um, review, um, get some um, lentils or some rice, something small, fill um, a cup or some sort of measuring thing so you can use the same amount each time for each ball, pour it into a bag and then with that bag we then get a, uh, a balloon, chop the end off and um, we then uh, uh, and then we, they, you stretch the balloon over the, the bag uh, to keep it nice and tightly. And then I showed you how we could uh, make little extra holes in that balloon and put it over to add um, an extra design. So you make it a two coloured um, uh, juggling ball. So I hope you get on well with that. I hope you have a good weekend. Um, I was looking forward to going out today, but uh, my son... Uh, has unfortunately developed a cough. So we are now stuck in the house for the next 14 days. How exciting is that? So plenty of time for me to carry on thinking of things to do in these live sessions with you. So uh, as always, if you have any questions, please do comment on the uh, uh, video. I will post it again once um, once this session's finished. Uh, any questions, um, also tell us um, uh, if from the previous ones, if you made a really nice uh, flower stick, uh, send me a picture. I'd love to see your designs. And and if you've done some tricks, um, passing tricks, uh, you know, if you if you in your household, if several people made flower sticks, and you can pass the flower stick from each other, each other, seeing a nice little video of that will be fun. So if you want to do any of that, uh, feel free to um, to tag me in. Uh, and if you want me to highlight what you've done, then that'll be great. Uh, nice to see some friends watching. Um, shout out to Simon, uh, a friend from uh, uh, from my uh, my school days, and uh, hello to Beth as well. Uh, and it's great to have you. And I shall see you all uh, Monday next session. Okay, take care and have fun making uh, the beanbags. Bye.